A great question that was asked is, how do you reconnect with past clients that you've kind of forsaken? And I would argue it starts with an apology. So get, let me give you a circumstance. You've been in business for five or seven or 15 years, and you claim that you want to be the realtor for life, right? And yet your client hasn't heard from you since you closed because like many of us in the business, we start off transactional, then we recognize long-term that this is a relationship-based business and we made a mistake by not staying in contact with our past clients. I've been guilty of this many times. So the you know a few things that we have to do, obviously, is let's take into account leverage. So sending out videos to past clients, certainly mailing to past clients. And of course, the uh, client appreciation parties is something that this should not be missed. But one of the last things I would say is that if you've got the ability or capacity to uh, make those phone calls, then make those phone calls sooner than later and reconnect and recommit. And so what might that sound like? Let's just say that I'm a realtor, and let's say that three years ago, I closed Susie Q's home for her family. And since then, I've you know been focused on other things. I didn't do a great job of staying in touch. What that phone call might sound like is this, and I would always say to give you some asterisks, uh, always start with honor and apology, and then you'd go into an invitation and go ahead and ask some questions that would open up the conversation. And so what that might sound like is, hey, ring, ring, hello. Hello, Susie Q, this is Josh Sigmund. I was your realtor that helped you buy your house three years ago. I'm going to stop right there for a second. Don't take for granted that people will remember you. Statistically speaking, most people cannot recall the name of their agent five years later when they go back to sell their house. So yes, literally say, this is Josh Sigmund. I was your agent. I helped you buy your house three years ago. The reason I'm giving you a call is that I was literally thinking through a uh, hundred things I'm grateful for. And one of the things I'm most grateful for is my past clients. It occurred to me that I've done a really bad job of staying in touch. And so first and foremost, I just want to tell you, I'm sorry. I've, I've done a poor job of keeping in touch. When I really think about the people that I've worked with over the last five years of my career, what, uh, as far as the people that I, I love work with the most, your face and name came up in my head as one of those people that I really enjoyed the process with. And so before I go any further, I just want to tell you, thank you so much for being my client three years ago. Thank you so much for uh, trusting me with, with the purchase of your home. And I am so sorry I didn't do a better job of keeping in touch, but I plan to do a better job moving forward. One of the very first things that I want to do, Susie, is I want to let you know that I'm throwing my very first client appreciation party this October. In October, um, we're going to have some uh, picking out pumpkins. I know you've got two kids, Susie Q, and I'd love for you to come by and pick up pumpkins on me. And it'll just be a great time for us to reconnect. Uh, no pressure whatsoever, but I'd love to see you. I'd love to see how the kids are doing. I'm sure they've grown like weeds since I remember driving them around the back seat when we were picking out your last house. That's a basic intro to conversation. It, it's honor. It's a it is a apology, and then it's an invitation, right? Most people, if you honor, you apologize, and you invite them to something, aren't going to be crappy about the conversation. So we'll of course have some people that will have forgotten this, not be have enough time, not call us back. You can leave this as a message too, guys. But the point is, is that for most normal human beings, they're going to be happy to interact with you. So, so from there, when they say, oh, my God, thank you so much, you can follow up by saying something like, listen, I'm going to send out a reminder. Keep an eye out for the invitations. Please pull up on your calendar, save a date, but fill me in. What's happened in the last three years of your life? Where are the kids going to school? What's going on with your husband? Are you still at the same job as a teacher? Well, did you make any improvements to your house? Since I last saw you, I remember that, uh, th that that house, you said you wanted to repaint it and refloor it. Did you ever get that done? Did you do anything else? Do you love it there? What do you love about it? And by asking all these probing questions, it's going to open up that conversation and you'll be shocked. If you call 20 past clients, somebody doesn't live there anymore. Somebody is about to sell. Somebody's got a divorce or is about to get a divorce. There, I mean, like there's all sorts of life things. Some of them had another baby. They swore... They weren't going to have any more babies and they had that miracle baby and now they're out of space. They have to buy another one, right? Thank God you called. But to avoid and not make the call because you might have a uncomfortable conversation is choosing failure. And if you claim to be a resource for life, it starts with connection and community and you got to make the call. So if you have other questions, please let me know. If, you, if this was helpful for you, please like and subscribe. And certainly I'd love to add more scripts or more uh, 